Jordan Wilson, coach, you guys just scored a 75-66 victory over Concordia University. Just kind of opening comments here after your first team that went of the year. <laughs> it's nice to win at home in front of a good crowd. Um, it's nice to hold a lead, maintain a lead, and finish uh, finish strong, especially with your you know go-to players <laughs> on the bench with foul trouble. Really proud of that effort. You know, these two kids did a great job offensively and defensively. That, that really, that's what we need out of them every night. Um, but you know, there's the little things that really I'm impressed with. You know, Marion Walmsley fresh and made a couple free throws. Uh, Autumn had a couple big rebounds when both of these girls were out. And McLean Williams, you know, played 27 minutes, had six assists, no turnovers. Those kind of efforts uh, really made the difference for us. So I'm really uh, happy with our performance. Um, well, Jordan, I'll start with you. Um, had a great first half, um, got, into, got into some uh, foul trouble in the second half, but just talk about this uh, game, 35 points, I believe, uh, career high for you. I, I know they do. So. Yeah. Um, just talk about uh, yeah, how, how it was feeling today. Uh, yeah, I mean, it felt good to win. Uh, things were just flowing in the first half. Uh, you know, just offensively, we were getting good looks, and uh, we knew we could pound it inside, and we did that, and so I thought that we're, we're 12, obviously. Kayla, this is for you, but just describe how crazy the last two minutes were. Because, I mean, you, you know, I know in, in collectively you all wanted to get that first win, but you were also looking at a team that basically just wanted to, like, you know, take the momentum away from you. Yeah. So how did you guys maintain your focus during, you know, during those uh, last two minutes? Yeah, um, I think we, we won. We really tried to keep our communication very short and very positive, and I think that really helps. Um, just saying concise things, even to yourself, um, that helps me and able to communicate the things that I want to communicate to my teammates and uh, help us stay into the next play. And uh, I thought that was one thing that we did really well and um, that we can embrace and move on with is uh, just, uh, even though mistakes can be made, but just forgiving them and moving on to the next ball and thought that's what we did regardless of all the um, you know foul outs or whatever every person down the line um, assumed that responsibility and i'm really proud of them so just talk about uh yeah the, the effort of this team especially uh even before the third quarter the end of the third uh, things got kind of tight i guess how did you see your team you know respond uh, to their shot making and then also you know you guys just execute on the defensive end just kind of kind of weathered the storm if you will well, that was kind of something we focused on this week in practice was our ability to uh, come out and win early. And we did that in the first, sec first second period. Um, uh, you know, and then comparatively to last week where we had to fight back for a win, this time we were fighting to hold our lead. And we, we talked about that, like, who's, we, okay, we might have lost that third period, but who's going to win the fourth, you know? And I think that uh, the leadership on this team really stepped up. I mean, uh, the younger kids or the, the kids that came off the bench made a difference, especially defensively, because we changed it up a lot. You know, we go man, we go zone, we do press. Um, but the kids that don't play a whole lot, they were able to make a difference um, and not let it get away from us. And that was that was big. Speaking of switching around, I know you guys defense switch out to the entire game. You guys play a little bit of man, a little bit of two, three, even through some one, three, one in there. Just kind of talk about just changing things. I know we talked about earlier this week, changing defenses. Just talk about how that affected Concordia and really limit them and kind of confuse them offensively. Well, we don't want anyone to feel comfortable, and I think that's our strategy is, is – is make sure that we're taking away everyone's comfort and abilities to run sets and abilities to um, uh, not know when they're going to be trapped or, un or not trapped. Um, no one, everyone should feel pressure when they touch it as far as do we have a look, do we not have a look. So that we, our ability to take that away tonight really, I think, jammed them up. Um, and if they beat us on one thing, the next time down we changed it up so they couldn't get two easy looks or in a row. And I think that the team just, I think they like that, they respond well, it keeps the energy high. Um, you know, and they're, they're the ones out there working, so I think they do a really good job at that. Uh, Jordan, as one of the leaders of this team, I know it's been a little while since you guys got a W, now you guys got one. I guess how are you guys going to try to, you know, shoot this together into Saturday, you know, try to get another one? Um, you know, I think this is a big win for us, just uh, momentum-wise, we can take this into our, our game uh, on Saturday and then continuing on um, on the road. But we knew this was an important one to buckle down and get this win because it's been a while. So.